Okay, so I wanted to make a quick paint ratio video for easy reference. Three paint ratios I'm covering today are Dutch pours, swipe pours, and flip cut pours. There are two major parts to mixing paint, your ratio of pouring medium to paint, and your paint mix consistency. Consistency is super critical, so stay tuned. Also, timestamps in the description if you want to jump around for quick reference. All right, here's the thing. Binder is super important to understanding fluid art. The simple version is that binder gives paint its stretch. Pouring medium like Floetrol has its own binder so we can use it to make the paint stretch even more and be more fluid. But different qualities of paint can be stretched farther than others. For instance, craft paint is already thinned down. It has a lower quality binder and has a lower pigment density. That means you can't stretch it as far by adding more pouring medium as you can with, say, student level or heavy body paint. And when your paints get too stretched, it can crack or flake or peel when drying because the moisture evaporates and there isn't enough binder to hold those paint particles together. That being said, beautiful art has been made with craft paint. I just personally have more consistent results with student level paint, and that's what this video is about, is paint ratios for student level paint. Whew, okay, that was a lot. Let's get to the good stuff. The ratio is a solid starting point. It's easy to get right when you're using a scale and weighing it out. I use ounces as in weight, not ounces as in volume. The pouring medium I'm using for this video is Floetrol, American Floetrol. For swipe, I've had great success with four parts pouring medium to one part paint. So that means four times as much pouring medium to your paint. For Dutch pours and flip cup, I use the traditional two parts pouring medium to one part paint. I'm sure I could stretch it out further, but I just haven't experimented with that yet on Dutch and flip cup. So I'm just explaining what I've personally had success with. When actually weighing and mixing the paint, I put half my Floetrol in first, then I add in the paint so the paint doesn't glob to the bottom or sides of the cup. Stir together by pressing against the side of the cup because this helps thoroughly mix the paint. And after that portion is mixed, I add in my Floetrol and mix that in thoroughly. So the biggest component in my opinion is paint consistency. And this refers to the thickness of your paint. So straight out of the tube is too thick. And that's why we add in pouring medium. But once you have that ratio mixed, it's time to visually check your paint. So scoop some of it onto your stir stick and pour it back into the mix. Now here's some terms to help us be on the same page. Mound, this is the bump that forms when the paint is poured into itself. Ribbon, this is the shape it makes coming off the stir stick. And stream, the stream can help gauge consistency with its thickness and speed. So how do you adjust this part of your consistency? Water. Now water has no binder in it, which means if you add too much, it can break down the binders of your paint and pouring medium. So I like to add a little bit of Floetrol to give it a smidge of binder. So I use 14 ounces of water to one ounce of Floetrol, but still use water sparingly. It's best to try to get as close to the right consistency as possible with pouring medium. Then if you need to add water, it's best just to add a little at a time until you get the consistency you need. Let's do a comparison of paint consistency. We're starting with two to one ratio, so two ounces of Floetrol to one ounce of paint, and sometimes it's fine at this ratio, but it depends on your pouring medium and paint thickness. So this one here is on the thicker end, and you'll have a wider ribbon, a mound that mounds onto itself, and a stream that's thick and slow. And I'll start with adding in a half an ounce of water mix, so the ribbon gets a bit thinner quicker, the mound sinks into itself quicker, and the stream is a bit thinner and flows a bit quicker. And here's one ounce total of water mix. Ribbon gets thin quick, mound is smaller, and sinks in quicker, and the stream is thin and flows quickly. And here's a total of 1.5 ounces of water. Ribbon is thin right at the start, mound is almost non-existent and sinks in almost immediately, and the stream is thin and fast. So this consistency range right here is what I aim for for the base colors of my swipe, all of my paints in both Dutch and flip cut. And this consistency is what I aim for for my swipe colors. So whatever color you're dragging across the base colors, it should be thinner than your base colors. And I only go this thin for my swipe color. 
This thin of paint or any thinner is really risky because paint starts sliding off too much off the canvas, wrecking cells, or colors start disappearing or sinking, and you just get a lot of variables that can go wrong when your paint is really thin. Also a note, if you mix your pour paints and let them set for a while, moisture might evaporate and make them too thick, so always check right before you pour. If you found this interesting or helpful, if you could click the like button, that will help me help other people and to keep making content. Thanks, bunches. Bye.